What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Dave B. Watching Dave Beyond TV where we go beyond the everyday bullshit that people be consuming on a day to day basis. You know what I'm saying? We got to talk about a lot, man. We got to talk about a lot. A whole lot. But for the most part, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to do separate videos for the moon and shit. I'm going to kind of condense the last two moons and then kind of talk a little bit about Mercury and Aquarius. I don't know how long I'm gonna make this video. I'm gonna make a bunch of videos in between cause it's a lot to break down and I just ain't been in a space where um, I can get in front of the camera, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of internal things going on. Well, internal as in not even like emotional or anything like that, but it's like we're going, we're in the midst of a shift right now. I mean, like we already been talking about that, but it's really like, it's a lot of timeline jumping right now in the sense of just like, you know, there's things that you have to really be focused on. And everybody, you know, everybody in different places. Some people are in a space where, damn, what the fuck was that on my mustache? You know, some people in a space where, you know, they're dealing with certain other things in other areas of their life. So, you know, but, you know, it's not really about that. But, you know, we finally got Mercury, Mercury in Aquarius. I knew it was something. I was like, I don't know if it's in Aquarius yet, but I knew it was on its way. But Mercury and Aquarius, you know what I'm saying? Where, um, cause I, that's my, that's where my, my Mercury is at in Aquarius. So a lot of what's happening right now, I feel like I'm able to, I'm, I'm getting a much stronger grip on as far as understanding what's going on. You know, Mercury return vibes. When Mercury jump back where it is for you natally, you start to be able to kind of make sense out of certain things that, you know, might have not might not have been clear uh, previously, but Mercury is energy itself because it's saying about me. But Mercury it, it itself as an energy is that right there, um, you know, being able to attain a level of mental clarity if you are able to etch out what you are on mentally as far as an individual right now. Any copycat energy, any you taking in with somebody else saying and using it as your own logic at the moment is not going to work. You have to be an individual when it comes to how you think. And right now, right in the middle, smack dab middle of, of, of the winter, everything we've known and gotten comfortable with since uh, airy season has crumbled. You know what I'm saying? And again, there might be certain things that have preserved themselves, but especially after that whole, you know, passing through Pluto and then Mercury currently conjunct Pluto. It's about taking power and control over your mind at the moment. And part of that is you parting ways with old ways that you might have used to think about certain situations and things of that nature. And, you know, coming to grips with that might not be the easiest thing to do for everybody. You know what I'm saying? If you haven't already been putting in the work, playing the right seeds and things of that nature. Like um, even a previous uh, full moon being in Leo, you know what I'm saying? There were certain things that we had to come to grips with that kind of determined whether how rocky this experience was for you, how easy or difficult it might have been to start to get with the new program and understand, okay, yeah, ain't no, not only is there no going back, but I can't even be scared of what's to come because if I'm too scared, you're not going to be in a space to receive even what you're supposed to receive to get you on that lifeboat for the next, you know, for this, for this new phase of life or this new, uh, space that we're all in that we're all experiencing as far as it goes with with life and things of that nature you know what i'm saying because again we all in a new space so it's about how do we how do we maneuver and how we how do we maintain but all of that is determined whether how or based upon how well you handle the um based upon how well you handle the uh the current time you know what i'm saying all of that is determined on, on based upon how how well you handle um what's going on right now in your life you know what i'm saying and whether or not you can kind of get with that shit you know what i'm saying because a lot of times you might find yourself you know trying to make sense out of what's going on but you still clinging on to old stuff like i was saying about that skin shedding all of that pluto shit you know part of death is finding your way to a proper rebirth and that's where we headed to but you know you don't just wake up from capricorn to aries you go through aquarius which is developing that new mentality or a clearer mentality, one that's fixated on your individuality that leads to the opportunity for you to develop a um, sense, of, sense of self that's actually worth something. You know what I'm saying? Y'all yeah, know what's going on. But for the most part, you know, so it's going to take a bit of that. You know what I'm saying? It's going to take a bit of that type of um, focus and that type of, um, well, yeah focus you know what i'm saying i think that's a good word for aquarius season 
focus so i believe we in the second deacon or are we in the second deacon i think yeah i think we're around the second deacon because we about to hit that full that new moon in aquarius which is going to be real fun to talk about um we're going to hit that new moon in aquarius which is going to kind of which is really going to set the tone for things um moving forward and how we conduct ourselves you know it's all about association but you know again outside of or before we even get to the external network you have a network of thoughts and feelings that you've been associating with and right now you have to really um the experiences we're going right now is to test you and to practice you critically thinking about whether or not that's a thought and feeling you need to associate with or do you need to do the opposite or you know uh the other side of aquarius which is uh, disassociate and ghost certain things that might have been concepts and thoughts that made you comfortable at one point but at this current moment in time you you deem unuseful unproductive because again this is still a saturn energy and we're dealing with a lot of saturnian energy or there's an emphasis on it based upon it being in in, in uh pisces and right now the moon is in um you know, the moon is in uh, Sagittarius. So there's a lot of things that we might still want to be comfortable with that isn't even a philosophy we can uh, rock with at the moment. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of things that might not be the best route to go about based upon what you know better not to do and what to do. So that's that factor, too, that we have to consider and, and not make any mistakes on that front. You know what I'm saying? Make sure that we actually see what it is we're heading towards and, and can properly decipher it without getting too caught up in how we want things to go and how we imagine things to be. That shit don't hold no real weight. Just because you want something to be some way. You know what I'm saying? That that it, Life ain't about what you want for real, for real. Life is about making what is, uh, what's making what's real to you possible. I feel like that's a better way to put it. You know what I'm saying? Rather than you know, yeah, because like the part of life is what you make it. And you can make it into something you want, but it's not about what you want. It's about what you're able to kind of put together and, and and create based upon your own perception. You know what I'm saying? Based upon your own. And, and again, not being so lost in your own perception that you lose touch with the world and shit like that or others or because it's not even the world of others, but it's it's. You know, we are a collection of different individuals and spirits and stuff like that. So it's like, or being around the collective, that's very much a, a important part of life, being able to connect with others. Because you can't go through this life alone. You can't even get birthed alone. Now, some creatures and things of that nature can be asexual and all that, but it's still a creature. You know what I'm saying? It's still a creature. It's still something that is, isn't might not even be a, 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 a sentient being or, or a being that can make its own decisions based upon stuff other than its natures. That's where we come in as into, as people. You know what I'm saying? As people or as you, you, uh, you know what I'm saying? We understand that argument as far as humans go. Uh, you know, we, we beyond human at this point. You know what I'm saying? Because again, even humans is attached to natures. But we, we not, we're here to ascend through that. You know what I'm saying? Ascend through all that human shit and become something greater. All right? Yeah, this video not gonna be that long, but I wanted to at least make a video and get to some real shit. Cause um, you know, we we change how we go about the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of things that need to change. A lot of things that 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 you know, for a long time have been the, the regimen and routine, but you know, nah, no longer, man, we, we got to do some different shit or at least, you know, again, we've been talking, I've been talking about changing the world. We all been, well, the ones I watch and stuff like that, shout out all the people I know, shout out to all the people I watch and that I want, you know, that I, I'll be messing with that best with me. You know what I'm saying? Mooney, Saint, uh, Zay Quarter, uh, you know what I'm saying? Jackie New, uh, Dolo, uh, Saint, uh, I mean, I said Saint, uh, Cito, shout out all of the content creators. And again, if I, if I didn't say your name in this instance, uh, endless abilities, uh, if I didn't say your name in this instance, that don't mean I'm not watching. I don't mean I don't mess with you. It's just, I, I'm, I'm, I don't want to spend this all. This ain't a shout out video, but it is shout out to the people that I'm watching that, um, who, who, who part of changing this world. And, and, and again, it goes beyond just trying to change this world because, you know, you got, you got, dreams and stuff that and stuff like that that go beyond this world so again at the end of the day it's just beyond us like it's beyond all this shit 
You know what I'm saying? It's like, this is deep, deeper than that. You know what I'm saying? Because I just respect it when other people put they um they perception out or they put their vision out or they want to out and and we can all grow and expand to change the world in, in a different way to have different mentalities out here stronger mentalities shout out to everybody shout out to the people who watch this channel who i didn't shout out you know what i'm saying shout, shout out to the people who be in the comments <clears throat> shout out to the people who watch from a distance shout out to all y'all because especially if you know i don't know in these times if you are somebody who had, who is in touch with themselves, chances are you're doing something. You know what I'm saying? And, and whatever it is that you do is important for it, you know, for the collective and things of that nature. Because there's people who see what you do through your medium, who are able to grow and develop in ways that they need to grow. But see, my favorite form of shouting people out is to collaborate. So a lot of, you know, again, my my appreciation goes beyond what I can even, uh, you know, shout out in a video, in, in a 30 minute video, you know, or hour long video, however long this, you know what I'm saying, a video end up being any of my videos and stuff like that. Like what, what you gonna start to see is me just collaborating with people. That's my way of showing love. I like to get active, you know what I'm saying? I don't like to sit by and just watch. I want to activate, you know what I'm saying? Activate as we elevate, participate in all those eight words, eight, year eight type shit. You know what I'm saying? Participate. Um, yeah, never mind. <laughs> I was about to say some other words. <laughs> now, all the eight words. <laughs> but y'all know what I mean. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's year eight, though. You know what I'm saying? And that on some level, it is about, you know, collaborating. But, you know, year eight is all about spending a lot of time in your energy getting to know yourself on a deeper more intrinsic um level i don't even know if that's the word i was trying to use it came out but learning yourself and i guess it does it does apply because you know as you as we develop better overstanding or inner standards of ourselves and stuff like that this is how we actually build something real because you know all this energy is pointing us to do that you know, there's nothing you can cling on to, not even a relationship, not even a person outside of you. It's like it really is all on you. That don't mean you can't have healthy, um, positive relationships. That don't mean you can't associate with others and develop connections. You're supposed to still, but you still can't lean on nobody else more than you lean on yourself or more than you're able to stand and withhold for yourself. And I think that needs that's what the priority is on a subconscious level, which is why certain things might just seem like they fallen. But if you're wise enough, you can see where it's falling into place. And instead of crashing out, you can start to create a, a, a peaceful landing for yourself where you can land on a conclusion rather than jump into a conclusion and crashing out. That's how you crash out. You be jumping to conclusions and you, you get ahead of yourself. Now, all of a sudden, you, you jump in face first into a shallow pool and then boom, you hit your head on the bottom. Whereas if you are allowing things to fall into place, you're 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 in a different space when you when you are, instead of jumping to conclusions you land to a conclusion this is you 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 can you can land it you know what i'm saying you land it you're not just hopping from one to one because you're scared and you're running from something because a lot of times that's what happens too people be running from things and they jump to this thing and jump to that thing and there's there's seeing it, it seems chaotic there's no control you know and, and that's kind of what pluto is doing pluto is like look you're going to have to take power control one way or another, even if we take control either. And when I say we, I'm not talking, you know what I'm saying? That's probably not even the right word to use. But, you know, we as in the world and the universe got, you know, things that's because it's like more like this. Right. When I say we, I'm talking about the collection of thoughts and feelings that you were associating with that became your reality. So that you're either making decisions or you're allowing what you're lost in to make a decision for you. That's kind of what I mean. Because it's always you. You doing it, whether you subconsciously know it or not. But again, is that we, is it a we thing? Or are you being yourself, you standing up, you being yourself, you being the um, author of your story, you being the creator, and you actually making these moves for yourself. That's the difference. You know what I'm saying? Where one of them, you know what you're doing. The other one, you letting things do it for you. And you blaming external things because it seemed to you as if 
everything is out of your control and then the only the thing is you just ain't take no time to be um you didn't you didn't you didn't take power and control over your shit so it's gonna look like everybody outside of you got control over you yeah i'm doing this because of my mama yeah i'm doing this because of my girl yeah i'm doing this because because of, of my man i'm doing this because of this that and the third and and the whole time you ain't did nothing you wanted to do the whole time whole life was dedicated to everything else everything inside of you that's looking to supposed to be following you all your organs and stuff like that the germ cells within you is supposed to be following you you the aware you the aware spirit you are the collection of everything trying to move so it's like that's why you can't blame nothing on your on anything but yourself all these fucking spots and this dude want to pull up next to me but anyway i mean it's what it is i mean everybody need the knowledge Everybody need to wisdom, but for real, for real, you know what I'm saying. So that that's just what it is, you know. So so this current state and time, you know, everybody got to find that footing, or really create that footing. And you create it by, see, Mercury in Aquarius is, you know, can be somewhat of an oxen. Well, actually, nah. Well, it is in the sense that when you think of a fixed energy being solid, and air is not solid. On you know, what I'm saying the air can only be forceful. You know what I'm saying? So when you think of fixed air, you know, again, that's where rebellion comes in. Forceful ideas and thoughts really is. But, you know, so that's kind of on one end of, of where the difficulty could be. But the other way is a contained source of air. So maybe like a balloon or something like that. That's kind of the other end of it where. If you look at the properties of a balloon being a collection of thoughts. And a collection, of, you know, a collection of thoughts that can solidify. Damn, I mean, a collection of thoughts that can solidify. Then, um, you know, it becomes something different. It becomes something where, um, you know, I'm saying these things are working together to get to a certain space, and that's kind of what a community can be. You know, what I'm saying a community can be a collection of individual thoughts that have formulated a, a, a you know, and then you, what, what happens that that's able to ascend because all of those air air molecules or whatever you want to call them are, are interacting within with with each other and and kind of floating into a similar space you know what i'm saying to experience a similar thing together but it has a container and see that's where the organization saturn type energies and principles come into play because with the organization and the association of those different things there there's new heights that could be achieved and things like that there's new new places that could be just new new things that it can reach you know what i'm saying that's just like how like you know I mean, I know I'm, when it comes to the actual science behind it, I'm probably off. I'm, I'm speaking purely from a spiritual nature, even though we, again, Mercury and Aquarius. But again, hopefully the unique way in which I go about it, y'all get what's going on in my mind. Because at the end of the day, that's that's exactly what's happening. You know what I'm saying? New ideas need to be bred at this point in time. Ones that can actually be established and solidified. So... In so many ways, that's what these times is about, for real. You know, you need to be coming up with no more more ideas that work towards your uniqueness and work towards your individuality. So you can't really be so concerned about how other people are gonna think about the shit that you're speaking on. But you can be aware of, you know, where you at. Because again, if you get met with a lot of resistance, that helps you understand understand and recognize that you might not be in the space that. Uh, you might you might need to readjust your space. One one somebody told me this about writing. I don't know if I I think I heard it in a video or somebody said it, but um, cause he, I'm a filmmaker as well. I write scripts. One principle of writing scripts is like, you know, say you wrote a script, um, and you want somebody to read it, right? And they read it they read it for you you made your first drive you give it to them they read it for you they give you feedback and one of their feedbacks might be like hey this scene right here something's wrong um i think you should do this instead someone said when you taking you know when you taking criticism and things that things of that nature somebody might be able to point out people are able to point out where there is an issue and something needs attention but you don't need to necessarily take their specific advice on what to change so you could take that into your own life and understand even how people give you advice. People might be like, hey, like, I don't think you should be doing this. You should do this instead. You should take it as, okay, how I'm living, there might be something I need to review. 
and check over because it's not translating or be or seemingly relatable to the outside world and even though i'm my own individual um i'm still within the outside world and need to know how to relate myself it's not about what i'm doing it's about how i'm doing it but i don't need to take what they're suggesting is the fix because that's coming from their lostness that's coming from their experience their perception which i'm not writing a story about their life i'm writing about my life you know what i'm saying so that's where you know what i'm saying i apply that principle or that i take that just experience and i apply to the different things i'm going through you know what i'm saying whereas like you know again right now you might be getting hit with certain resistance in life and god is showing you different things and it's like it's not about you trying to cling on to the first thing you see outside of you that's pointing you in a direction you still need to create your own direction but at least you know and are aware of the space and area of life in which things need to be readdressed so this is even how you help yourself not get so attached to certain outcomes and not get so high on expectation you know especially at these times we in a time where the shadow government is playing on everybody's addiction to instant uh, uh, gratification and instead of um instead of falling for the bait and getting hooked on what you think is right and being hooked and seduced by your your desire for knowing what's going to happen tomorrow you could take this with a you can look at life with enough balance between grains of salt and sugar to where you can create this this concoction that works best and the sugar be all the things that get you excited the grain of salt keep you realistic so it's like you 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 need to find your own little balance and mixture of these elements these energies so that you can look at life and say okay yeah things need to change but i don't have to get lost in what has died i can start to put together a better tomorrow for my my myself by just adding a little more focus and checking my intent to make sure that things align and anything that's creating that discomfort understand what's necessary for me to approach and develop comfortability in versus what needs to be destroyed and what i can no longer uh confide in what i no longer need to participate my time energy focus thought forms feelings and emotions into we can't be just investing in anything because year eight we need to be very mindful of the things we invest in energetically first you might be trying to get your money right but energetically look at it like this if you trying to save up for something but god in the universe is like that's retarded and see when i say god in the universe is still not outside of you you on a subconscious level know it's retarded or know it's not what you really want so you be like, ah, you, you wonder why you can't get enough money to save for that thing. You have the wrong, you're investing into the wrong thing. That's why all your investments are falling through. It seems like you losing money every time you put some away for that thing, that desire. You're getting lost in it. You, it that might be the very reason you can't save enough or you, you can't ever have enough money for something. What you're trying to sustain ain't actually sustainable for you as an individual or in that space. So it's different things we, you know, it's just different things to be mindful of. But I gotta dip out for the most part. Like I said, you know, next video is probably gonna be more moon directed or transit based. But um, for sure, it got a lot of content as far as um, just real shit, real talk. You know what I'm saying? Start talking. All right. Much love, and I catch you on the next one. Peace.